He wanted me to run again for a third term, and he wanted me to win. Mayor Stothert has said before, and says it again, the job as mayor energizes her. And getting back in office has been therapeutic after her husband Joe passed away. After something like that happens and all your friends and family leave and you're alone again in your house, then I really needed my work family too and I needed my campaign family. She believes the defining issue of the campaign is recovering from the pandemic. That is what is on people's mind right now. Stothert says her leadership navigating a $75 million budget shortfall in 2020 and the necessary cuts she made proved that she can help the city restart once the pandemic is behind us. Are we financially sound? Is the city going to be able to move forward? Do you know, did we have to lay off anybody? No, we didn't. I feel like we have navigated through this pandemic and fared better than most cities across the country. Pre-COVID, Stothert had prioritized streets. Pushing forward a street bond that puts an extra $40 million towards roads over the next five years. She points to 59 new street projects this year alone. They are all over Omaha and people can see that work being done. Multiple opponents say Stothert has not prioritized North Omaha, instead focusing on roads out west. Stothert says both Northeast and Southeast Omaha have older infrastructure that you know, needs more I, I attention. She says plenty of projects, including a focus on Ames Street, is on her radar. It disappoints me that there are mayoral candidates that are not aware of how many road projects that we have scheduled for Northeast Omaha and how many have already occurred. Thursday, Stothert consolidated law enforcement support with unions for both the Omaha Police and the Douglas County Sheriff's Office, along with County Attorney Don Klein, all endorsing her. She says polling and anecdotal conversations show people want public safety. Despite criticism, she believes Omahans have trust in their police department. What we hear and what we have seen is there is strong support in Omaha, in Northeast Omaha, for our police department and our law enforcement. She draws contrast with her opponents as the only candidate with any experience in City Hall. She says even before her job as mayor, her experience on City Council allowed her to take to the job right away. And I felt like I hit the ground running when I became mayor. You know, a learning curve for somebody that has no experience in City Hall um, would be huge and great. In Omaha, John Kipper, 3 News Now.